Hey everyone and welcome back to Immortals Phoenix Rising. On this video, we're doing the quest, Who Art Thou? And that quest is going to take us into a new area, the Forge Lands. Who Art Thou? The Forge Master's statue towered over a barren land of dust and debris. What hid beneath its benevolent gaze? A post-apocalyptic Hadescape where only the strong survive? Ooh, or a zoo. Z. So our objective is to scout the region from Hephaestus' statue. We're gonna fast travel over to the, whatever this is called, the Protector Dracon Ismenios. And uh, we'll go this way. There's some stuff I haven't revealed right here. We'll get that stuff, swing back this way, and then head up towards our objective. So that's the plan. Let us fast travel. Um, before we take off, I'm using some subpar equipment, so let's uh, swap some things out. So I've got this helmet on that only helps in Vaults of Tartarus, screw that. I'm gonna put on the Guise of the Unknown Visitor, plus 8% damage for each combo stage and plus 5% stun for each combo stage. Beautiful. And then, uh, I don't know, I kinda wanna change my, s my axe back. I did like having that freeze. I'm gonna go back to the freeze. So, we've got the Crystal Shadow Hammer. Freeze enemies for eight seconds on perfect parry and plus 60% stun with the X Smash. Good. And then for my sword, this one's not really helping me. Plus 30% damage with sword air combo while at plus 30 on the combo meter and extra plus four to combo meter on hit with the sword launcher. Not really how I play. So I'm gonna go with the Departed Shade instead. Plus 45% damage for six seconds on a perfect dodge. And it creates four stamina orbs on hit with the sword sprint attack. I don't really care about the sprint attack, but I like that perfect dodge damage increase. That's really nice. All right, I'm all set. Now, as I said, there are some things I didn't reveal over here. Not quite sure why, I guess I just missed them. So right there, we've got a night chest. And then behind it, a chest and a small liar. And then over there, we've got another chest. Okay, that's all. So, night chest first. Huh, are these guys up? Oh. I was gonna say, it's not nighttime, why are they up? And then they poofed. So, wait till nighttime. <sighs> it's go time. Take this. Charge it up. Oh yeah. Oh no, don't get hit by that perfect dodge. Oh, he got me with the last one. All right, hold on. Boom, got him. I caught him. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> Not today, buddy. Take this, freeze. And charge this. Stunned him. Oh, it's over for him. You're gonna be taking some massive hits. Alright, that went well. Alright, got a midnight fragment. And that was our fifth midnight fragment. So our task is complete. We need to return to the Hall of the Gods at some point to turn that in. All right, so coming up, we've got the chest and the small liar. They are both down here, but we need to activate the four crystals. So we got some enemies to deal with first. We'll start with this guy. Sneak attack. Oh, what? All right, fine, take that. Who 
Who wants some? You want some? Take that! Oh, it didn't even work. What the heck? There we go. Oh, stop climbing! Oh, crap! Oh, I actually interrupted him. Nice. I wasn't sure you could do that. No, oh, don't lose the combo! There we go. Take that! Alright, that's gonna stun him. Big hit. Ooh, na nasty hit. And you're frozen. And you're stunned again. Get that one. Ooh, I think this combination of gear is working quite well. Alright, so our first crystal's in there. Activate that. Lasers come up. Get through. And we need to go over here. Activate this console. We get stuck in lasers. I'm gonna drop the block right there. And then grab it again. Drop it. And, oh, ooh, that was almost bad. Drop it, make sure it doesn't move, and go through. Alright, first crystal done. Okay, let's do the one over here. Okay, flip the switch, lasers come up, same thing, gotta get through the door quickly. Then, all right, so come up here. We need this block. Just let that wait there. Hit the switch, the barrier comes down, but there's more lasers. Grab your block and just walk right on through. It'll block the lasers. All right, two crystals done. Third one's in here. So for this one, activate the console. Bunch of lasers come up. We're actually gonna come over here. Step on this platform, drag that block down. Then we use this block to block two lasers on the bottom. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. Right, right there. Nope. Alright, what am I doing wrong here? Right there. There we go. Alright, and then grab that one and place it right on top. I'll try that again. Right there. Good. And then we can get in. Okay. And one more. Oh, I don't know why I'm sneaking. Alright, turn that on, get through. And then here, all we need to do is grab this block, throw it at the pressure pad. And done. Okay, so this door is now open. You might recognize this as a dedication to Kiknos, cruel son of Ares. Crybaby Kiknos got beaten by Heracles fair and square. Ares got all grumpy about it since I didn't let him have a rematch. Kiknos became vengeful too. He developed a nasty habit of building temples out of the bones of innocent travelers. Well, he sounds nice. So, anyways, activate this, watch the pattern of the lasers, and just copy it. Ha! 
All right, got some ingredients, and remember this sequence. Well, I think next we'll do the Vault of Tartarus. And then after the vault, we'll go get the chest nearby. The chest is way down at the bottom of the cliff. So uh, climbing back up sucks. I think I'll do the vault, then the chest, and then I'll just fast travel out of there. Because yeah, that climb is absurd. So, vault time. The Hydra's mini heads. And this one actually has two chests, so one over there. And another at the exit. Alright, so jump on the pressure pad thing. Make sure it lines up with that dude coming out trying to hit you. And if it doesn't, just jump off so it stops and you can uh, retime it. But this one should be good. Swapping. This one's easier because there's two platforms, so you just kind of jump over or whatever. I'll just jump over this one too. Hey, you bumped me. That was rude. Oh, okay. Anyways, we're gonna use this one to jump up. And oh, crap, <laughs> forgot he was right there. All right, and then we'll use this one to jump up as well. All right, and now we're gonna use this one to get up there. We'll need to triple jump. Alright, so our chest is way over there. What we're gonna have to do is triple jump off of this guy. Alright, and then fly over quickly. Good. New visual skin of Moonlight Revels. would be this one. What dark rituals has this armor been a part of? What foul incantations will you cry while wearing it? Spooky. Hey, it matches my helmet, I like it. All right, let's see if I can get back to the top area, I don't know. If that's possible, we'll find out. It's gonna be close. Nope, couldn't quite grab it. All right, well this way then. All right, I need your help. You must be a platform for me. Thank you, good sir. All right, this dealio again, that actually might be timed up right. Yeah, that's perfect. But this one, not so much. Let me get off of it briefly and then back on. All right, cool. Ah, uh, crap, all right, over the top. All right, jump to this one. Uh, off briefly, then back on. Yep, perfect. Alright. Now we're gonna use that guy to get up. You could also just triple jump, but I'm gonna use him. Because that's more fun. Alright, make the swap. I don't think that's gonna line up right now. I'm gonna reposition this. Maybe there. Oh, no. Still way too early. Actually, I think it would have been okay, but whatever. 
no issue being patient. Right, obviously, I need to use him. And I will need his help as well. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so for this part, we gotta see where they're smashing down and pick a spot. So we'll go left. Then the next pairing, it's safe on the right. So I can just go over there now. Oh, careful. Alright, so right is good. Then middle. And then... I can't tell with that one. Middle again, I guess? I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah, middle and then right, maybe? Yeah, I think it was right. Oh, crap. We're good. Alright, then we gotta use those guys. I'm gonna wait one more time. And we made it. Coins of Charon. Sweet. That vault is complete, and like I said before, the next chest is way down there. So we actually need to go to that island. So we're gonna go out to that island. I probably should have got this chest when I was down here before, but oh well. Too late now. Alright, just waiting on my stamina. And go! You can see the chest over there just got activated. Just gotta get there quickly. Hopefully quicker than this. There we go. Up. And over. And we made it. New visual, Charge of the Soldier Breastplate. Which one is that? This one. Put on your armor and raise your weapons, soldiers. The time has come to fight, so charge. Hey, I like that too. Okay, so yeah, I am not climbing up that ridiculous cliffside. That will take forever. So instead, uh, we'll go over to the map, and we're going to fast travel back to the Protector Dracon Ismenius. Okay, so I believe it's over this way. Okay, let's see if we can spot it. Oh, I think it's... Right over there. Is that the one? I think so. Yeah. Alright, heading over. We've got some purpley dudes. I will start with... Wait. No, I don't even need to fight these guys. I'm gonna avoid these. The chest is past them. Over here. Ah, yes, and we just got to solve the puzzle here, which is very simple. Pull the rock up, drop it down. Pull the rock up, and drop it down. Easy. New visual, Polar Jaws of War. Track your prey across the ice and snow from beneath this furred hood. Oh, 
Okay. Let me open up the map. Yeah, we're gonna go do that vault next. Which is right there. Yeah, let me climb up here. Leave my unicorn behind. Alright, here it is. There's some enemies in the way. I'm gonna start with Mr. Cerberus over here. Hello! To your face! Charge it up! Oh, I bet you didn't like that. Oh, you wanna do that, huh? Not today. Oh, crap! I thought that would stun him. We're okay. And here we go. Oh, I got both of them stunned. Or, wait, yeah, both of them. Trying to get Cerberus out of here quickly. Alright, big shot for you! Boom! Boom! Oh, I went for the parry and messed it up somehow. Oh, hi. Oh, you lived. Take that. Okay, in we go. <laughs> Defying Kronos. Okay, well, let's start by finding our chest. Uh, over there. Alright, so, activate that to get a little box. Flip that to get the lasers to go away. And then just drag it over. Okay, we need to go left or right. We'll start by going right. Now, I have not found a way to do this without heavy lifting. So, if you want to follow along with me, you need heavy lifting. It kind of seems like they perhaps would let you do it without heavy lifting, but uh, I don't see how. And actually, I just went too far. So, the reason I think you need heavy lifting is because I've not found a way to really get that block out of there without it and I don't think you can so I'm pretty sure you need heavy lifting so I'm gonna use this block to get my chest so I'm gonna throw it over to that pad like so and that'll let me get to the chest Alright, new visual, Headdress of Shining Victory. That would be... This one. This headpiece is to be worn by someone who could overcome darkness and bring light to the island. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is get rid of that block, pull it off, and into the abyss. I want it to respawn. All right, now, let's drop those lasers and get this block across to here and then quickly over to here. If you're not quick enough, you can drop the lasers over here, I believe. Yeah. All right, so we need heavy lifting, like I said, so we can drag this big boy over. Plop them down right there. And then we're gonna put this on top of them. And then go over here. And pull that over. Good. Get over the lasers. Drop the lasers. 
Pull that across, put it at the edge, like so. And then get over here. And then obviously pull it across, but wait for the flames. All right, there we go. Now for this side. Alright, so. Spawn it. Drop the lasers. Bring it over. Put it at the edge. Get across. Drop the lasers. Grab it again. Put it at the edge. Okay, and grab it. All right, fantastic. I don't have to double jump on each one of these, but I feel like it. Got the stamina for it, why not? So that's done. Let me open up the map. I guess we'll do that guarded chest next. It's a big wide open area over there without anything in it. Yeah. Seems a little odd. Oh wait, no, that's where I'm going. It'd be over here. Yeah, let me just get some height so I can see it. Just seems odd that there's nothing over there, but yeah, I guess there is nothing. Look at that. All right, so that our chest? That is our chest. So I see a Cerberus. And nothing else scary, so I'll just go for him. Invisible. Hello! Oh, I stunned him and got hit at the same time. That takes some skill. Alright, should be able to finish him by charging this. Oh yeah, he's done. And his friends. Alright, easy. New visual talon. Named for the claws of a winged predator, this bow strikes with precision and fatality every time. Not bad. Okay, next we will do the constellation challenge and it looks like there's some baddies hanging out. Just trying to be in the way. All right. Little Cerberus. It is your turn first to die. Oh yeah, he is done. This might just take him out. Not quite, but just about. Long distance shot. Maybe right there. No, oh, I missed it. You guys didn't even notice what I did to your friend? Take that! And finishing shot. Oh! I didn't even see you guys down here. Nice of you to join me. Big smash! Oh, he got me. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. That just straight up took him out.
Throws him. And... Finish. Oh, he didn't release. What the heck? There we go. Spooky caves. Seven spooky caves for the seven Argive champions. And the seven gates of Thebes they attacked. All led by the rightful king, Polynesis. Go Argives, or go Thebes. I don't know. Depends on whose uniform I like better. Alright, we've got a constellation challenge. So we'll start over here. You can see one of the orbs is locked. And we've got two missing shields. One of them's right here. So just plop that into place. And now we gotta find the other one. I'll take those pomegranates. Thank you. I may as well top my health off. Or get close. Alright, so first cave. What do we got? We can smash into here. And there is our missing shield. Right here. Good. Oh, I should probably let my stamina get back, but let's place this first. Right there. All right, what do we got in this cave? This cave's just a bunch of goodies. So there we go, got them all. How about the next one? Wait, did I miss it somehow? Let's see, I went in that case. Yeah, okay, right here. I missed this somehow. Er, nope, now I'm confused. Okay, maybe it's the middle one that I missed. Was it this one? Aha, it was. Okay, good. Well, wait, now I feel like I missed something. I've confused myself again. I think there's actually something in this cave. I think that cave has nothing, but this one actually has something. Otherwise, I'm confused. And apparently, I'm confused. Oh, God. I guess there's two caves that are empty. Right, anyways, going up. So we got a cave over here. So this one's got an orb for us. What we need to do is go up. Put that block on the pad. No, that didn't work. Put it on the pad. And then, let's see, how do I get you again? Maybe I have to put. Maybe I have to put on this one. No. All right. What am I forgetting here? I'm forgetting something. It's possible that I need the clone. Let's use the clone. Let's see what happens. All right, well, that just gives me the orb. But I want to do this without the clone. So. All right. What am I doing wrong here? I got to figure this out. We got the block. I don't see any way to move it. I'm utterly confused. Ah, here we go. There we go. Activate that. That drops. I thought there was a breakable wall over there, but I looked and didn't see it the first time. Anyways, throw that up there. No clone necessary. Okay. You're coming with me, orb. And I wonder if I could throw it into place from here. Let's find out. Let's see, I want it right about there. Yeah. Hey, look at that! What a throw. Yeah. 
Okay. Into this cave. So, we obviously need something there. We step on this. That opens that up. So what I need to do is come over here, smash this open. Drag the block into the hole. Hey, stop being stubborn. Right there. There you go. All right, now it's available there. So grab it, toss it. Oops, wrong button. Crap, where'd it go? All right, toss it into there. Uh, that's not gonna work. Try it again. Much better. And why aren't you working? All right, and then I step here. That opens it up and grab it. All right, let's see. Can I throw it into the spot again? It needs to go right next to the other one. Right there, I can't see that well, but hey, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's uh, do this cave over here. All right. I'm trying to remember this one. Yeah, sorry, right, so go through. Then in here, may as well grab that now, I think. We'll just kind of leave this off to the side. Oh, actually, either leave it there or put it like where I just did in line of sight of this gate. That's going to be important. So what we actually need to do is go over here and up. I said and up. There we go. So step on this. Drag the block over. Have it block the lasers for you. Squeeze past. You might need to... Might need to reposition. Yeah. Oh god. Ow. Oh well, that sucks. Uh, but it might actually work. I had it drop on the the pressure plate below. That wasn't what I planned, but hey, that works. I was gonna walk past then drag it down, but whatever. Whatever works, right? And let me just play it safe and heal that. All right, can we do it again? Let's see, right there. Oh, I overdid it. No, one space off. Oh well. Okay, final one. All right, so we'll pretend that we don't have heavy lifting. Push this over. Good. And then, let's see, where's that other block? Oh wait, I don't need another block. I just step here. And then I grab it. Easy. All right, I need it right there. Oh, overdid it. I don't know what that sound was. Anyways, let's put these two in the correct places. So that one there, and that one here. Oh wait, I lied, that one here. The king of the Argives, Eteocles, was Polynices' brother. They both thought they deserved the throne, and fought over it. Cadmus is the only king of Thebes I recognize. He did everyone a favor by killing Ares' giant snake. The serpent's in a better place now anyway. Here on the Golden Isle. And his constellation rests amongst the stars. All right, another constellation challenge complete. Let me look at the map real quick. And uh, let's go do that night chest. Night chest next. So that is this way? Okay. Pretty sure it's this way.
Yep, there it is. 202 meters up. Okay, here we are. It is not nighttime. So we'll have to do something about that. Let's start with six arm dude though. Take this! Oh, I thought that would stun him. It did not, but that might. Nope. Oh, I'm trying. There we go, I got him. Alright, he's out of here. Let me charge this up. Ooh, got it off just in time. Froze him. Big smash. Ooh, that was 1,100 damage. All right, I can finish him off right here. Oh, yeah, he's gone. What do you think you're doing, buddy? Ah, you hit me. So rude. All right, this one took me forever to figure out. So, the way you figure out the combo here is just to look for the uh, ghosts. So, that one leads to that one, and then over here. Okay. Got that midnight fragment, and we will go for the ambrosia next up there. And then I think I need to start revealing stuff because I have not been this far, whatever direction this is, north, uh, ever before. So there's probably a bunch of stuff I can pick up. All the way to the top. All right, up to two Ambrosia. So yeah, I got a, a decent spot to look around here. And yeah, there's gonna be plenty of stuff to reveal, I'm sure. Trying to reveal that, it's being stubborn. Hey, come on now. There we go. Oh, not too much in that direction. Got Ambrosia. Chest. Okay, I think that's good for that direction. Oh wait, there we go, Vault of Tartarus. And then this way, what do we got? We got a chest. We got another chest. Uh, fresco challenge. Oh, come on. Come on, where are you? Right there? Nope. There we go, Vault of Tartarus. Uh, big liars over there, Vault of Tartarus. Come on! There we go. Chest. Oh, and I'm gonna get that chest next. All right, there's the um, statue of Hephaestus, obviously. Uh, navigation challenge there. And a night chest. All right, I think we might actually be good. Oh wait, not quite. There's another chest, and another one. Oh my god, there's more. Alright, Ambrosia. 
Also a chest. Alright. Well, every time I'm about to say I'm good, I find something else. Another chest. And a Vault of Tartarus. Okay. Nope. Still not good. Then we got something over here. Ambrosia. Okay. It's looking clear now, though. So, let's get that chest right there with the harpies nearby. <laughs> Discovered the forge lands. Alright. Eight charged shot. Boom. Take that freeze. And you. Oh, well. He's gonna gonna hit you and be super cool, but, yeah. Alright, charge shot there. Of course it moved. Go ahead and stun this one. Oh, you want to be frozen again, huh? You said you wanted to be frozen? Alright, there you go. Boink. All right, so here, well, uh, first things first, let's go into this area on the left. So we'll dive down. And up. All right, so in here, get some pomegranates and a block. So, let's just toss that block over there because that's where we're going to need it. And I may as well toss the other blocks over here. Well, actually, first, let's go down here. So, the way you find out the combination here is the, uh, the spots that have the statues on it down here. So, those two on the left and then this one on the back right. So, grab that one, place it here, and grab that one, whoop, grab. no, no, not that one, put that there, grab this one, no, this one, put that there, okay, there we go, collect those. All right, new gear plate of the ethereal automaton. New gear, huh? Plus 28% defense, inflicts 1,070 damage to attacking enemies. Interesting. Well, let me grab this flower nectar since I'm here and there's so much of it. All right, uh, looks like we're gonna do another vault. That one up there. And we'll go for six-armed buddy. Just sneaking on by, no big deal. Take this! Actually, you know what? Let me just get rid of him with this. Boom, he's gone. Woo, got both of them with that. Oh, charge it up, get all of them! Oh, it wasn't wide enough. Why are you still alive? Jeez. Oh, still got that one frozen, but oh well. Take that! And up I go. Oh wait, nope, doing that instead. Totally planned. Oh, he dodged me, what a jerk. Here. Take this! Alright, into the vault we go.
The Defiance of Perseus. Alright. I need to remember where the chest is here. Alright, well, we got that one over there. I'm wondering if this is another two chest one. It might not be. No, I think it's actually a one chest. Alright. Anyways, we got four pressure pads to activate. So, let's start by going this way. So, obviously, I need to take this box over. But, there's people standing in my way. It's not very nice. Hey. Ooh, that got them all. That was brutal. Yeah, I should have thought your plan through better, huh? Yeah, I have a bird too. Phospho! Go! <laughs> well, that works. Alright, take him a block. Okay. One wing complete. Let's go this way. Okay, that raised me up. Obviously, from here I go to this one. This one moves me over. Okay, I remember this one being slightly tricky, so let's figure this out. I need to drag this over. Ah, yes. This one took me a while to figure out. So you can actually... Let's see, I can jump with this? No, I can't jump with this. So what I need to do is get on that platform, drop the block, and then it will actually go underneath that laser. It looks like it wouldn't, but it does. Drag it, plop it down. So, take it over here, grab it. Right, I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit lower just to be sure it comes with me. All right. And then, I uh, guess we can just plop it down. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me go over here. Take it. Okay, plop it down. I right, guess it wasn't that tricky. Two done, two to go. Okay, what's happening over here? Oh, right, this evil one. Spoiler alert, I don't like this one. Alright, so, grab the block, then activates these. Just be careful going through here, nothing too special. I should have jumped there, but whatever. Alright, now, this is why I hate it. These double spike things are, you can get across them, but it's not simple. And you can't drag the box over or else it dies to the spikes. So, you have to actually jump it, so here we go. Animate it. Now watch, I'm probably gonna make it look super easy and then I'll just look silly for saying it was difficult, but whatever. All right, back up. Okay, and you need to get a running start, I found. So, that, oh, nope, see, there you go. 
That's my normal experience with this awful thing. I hate it. But at least I made the first jump. Alright. Attempt number two. Alright, this time without the suck. Alright, I made that. That I think the problem is I always try to jump a little too late. Because it's deceiving. So I'm going to try to jump a little early this time. And maybe that's what the issue is. So, jump like now. Yeah, there we go. So I guess it's not that hard. I just, I just jump a little too early. Or too late, rather. But yeah. Either way, I still don't like it. So obviously... Pull that under. And then pull that over. And I, I guess I could be jumping with this. Let's jump over here. Alright. This I obviously can't jump. I need a bullet. And made it. Okay, and how about this final one? Oh yes, the lasers. Alright, so it should be pretty obvious what we have to do here. And actually, while I'm up here, I want to do one more check for chests, just because I thought that there might be another one, but I guess not. Alright, I was just thinking of that previous vault. So, take the box, and then the lasers activate. And we got to get through. All right, so clearly with this, you got to wait for it to be blocked by the wall. And then the spinning laser could be a pain in the butt. We'll see. Oh, crap. I got hit by one of them. But anyways, my box is still okay somehow. All right, so jump over that. Oh, I jumped early, but I made it. And through. Cool. All right, well, that wasn't actually too bad. But just to play it safe, I will heal with a health potion. All right, we made it. Drop that down. Quite involved for a regular vault. But we're not even done yet because we haven't gotten our chest. So, for the chest, we gotta shoot that through the uh, rings. So, make a big old semicircle. And obviously you need a lot of stamina for this. You might need to use a potion. Just depends on what your stamina level is currently at. Mine's pretty high, so I should be able to do it without a potion, I think. Guess we'll find out. Get through there, and I think that was the last one. Oh, wait, no. One over here. Actually, I might need that potion after all. It's going to be close. Haha, I don't need the potion. Just barely made it. Alright, that lowers the barrier. New visual, Horns of Moonlight Revels. That would be those. Fill your cup and embrace the darkness. It's known to follow the wearer of this horned helmet. All right, cool. Now that we have that, we're out of here.
Okay. So, oh, well, I got some stuff to reveal. I think from here, I'm just going to go for the statue. It's right there. There is a vault over there that's kind of close. But we'll save that for another time. So yeah, let's just uh let's just get to that statue. <laughs> Discovered God of the Forge. At the foot of the grand statue was an anvil, itself not a beautiful thing, but the base upon which beautiful things are born. I think you could climb up his leg, but the anvil's easier because there's breakpoints. And here were Hephaestus' tongs, which he plunged deep into scorching fires and frigid waters. <laughs> plunged! Only in those extremes could his creations be perfected. What? You know, that's all. <laughs> all the play he's getting. <laughs> because you know all of him <laughs> in the looks department. <laughs> because he's... <laughs> Are you finished? Yes. <laughs> yep. Alright, keep going up. Alright, I'll check the top of his head. I don't think there's anything here, though. Nope, I need to go all the way up there. Finally, after much climbing, Phoenix reached Hephaestus' hammer. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> Zeus, get it together, man. It's not that funny. Okay, here we are. Ah, the Forge Lands. The many workshops. The soaring peaks. Are we on a guided tour here or something? The ancient creations, wasted by Typhon's endless appetite for destruction. Oh. Someone down there was alive, working, and seemingly happy. Definitely not Hephaestus, then. That whining, sniveling coward never smiled a day in his life. Have you... have you listened to a word of this story? Things have changed. All right, the Forge Lands is revealed. And it's quite a large area. So, yeah, while we're up here, we should definitely do Farsight. I got some of the stuff already, but I'm sure there's plenty more, especially in this direction. Oh, it is being stubborn today. There we go. Ambrosia. Vault of Tartarus. Actually, not as much stuff as I would have thought. Ambrosia there, and Odysseus Challenge. And that's the grove. Yeah, that's the grove over there. Huh, something right there. Oh, look at that. Ambrosia and Ambrosia, right next to each other. Well, never mind. guess they're 160 meters apart. They looked right next to each other. Right, there's an Ambrosia. There's a chest. Okay, is that really it? That might be. Oh, wait. 
All right, chest there. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Now we're finding some stuff. Constellation challenge. Okay, well, I'm sure there's more, or at least there could be more. But, let's move on. I'm gonna get that Ambrosia right there on the way to my objective. And why am I not tracking it? Hey, why aren't you tracking? Let's see. Oh, and still the same description. Up to three Ambrosia. Adjacent. Anyway, I'm here to stop Typhon. Hmm. That checks out. You didn't look like much of an appreciator, no offense. But maybe this will change your mind. A little box? What? No, that is so my last phase. I signed it though, and you can keep it. No need to thank me. I can't read this. You're a sculptor. I scaled your statue. You're Hephaestus, right? I'm so excited to meet you in person. So, not that one. Fine. That's fine. Totally fine. But I have others. so we can defeat Typhon. Do you know where it is? No? Confusion or rapture? Are you wrapped? This is just my face. How can you arf at a time like this? Don't you know what's happening? I think it's safe to say you do not. Typhon? Everyone turned to stone? Gods all lost their essences? Evil monsters everywhere! End of the world! You really have no memory whatsoever? Who needs the past when you can shape the future? It'd be easier to shape the future with hands. Typhon stole them, I assume. Ripped them from your limbs? tortured you endlessly. Something? You really need to sit down with this Typhon guy. Talk it out. And no, my hands had enough of making art and scurried off together. I'd love to say good riddance to the both of them, but an artist without hands is like an appreciator with a Typhon obsession. Useless. They can't have gone far. And who knows? Maybe if I get them back, they'll jog your memory. Save the applause for when I come back. I could sculpt a tree with happy little tree friends. Do trees have friends? When I got here, there was red paint spilled all over the place for arting. Or, I think it was paint. <laughs> red paint, huh? When I got here, there was Alright, so I'm a little confused. Spilled. Was that not the, his essence in that box? Let's see. Strange box. Some gift. There's only an empty flask inside. Oh, empty. 
Perhaps it's a commentary on consumerism. Okay. Oh, yes. Anyways, we got two objectives. They're both in the same direction. Find new hands for the automaton. All right, and we'll hit the uh, big liar on the way, but other than that, we'll be going straight for our objectives. So the big liar is up there. Sing, clear-voiced muse of Hephaestus, famed for inventions. He taught glorious crafts throughout the world. Be gracious, Hephaestus, and grant prosperity. He's made a lot of designs for me. Still waiting on that massage throne, though. Oh. <laughs> massage throne? That sounds awesome. All right, so there's a blue crystal over here. We should get it. That was weird, my music just cut off very abruptly. No more music for us. Okay, so our objective is down here. Let's go, Fosfo. See some harpies. I need you to peck them in the face. This place looks like a battlefield or a graveyard. All right. So we got the harpies and then some stuff down there. I think the harpies are the biggest threat. So go for them. Hey, you get out of here, buddy. All right, you know what they want? They want the bird. That <laughs> bird is so strong. I don't use him enough. Pop him in the face. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, he teleported behind me. That was not cool. Oh, and right over here. What do we have here? How handy. Ha <laughs> ha how handy. All right, cool. Let's go up. Some lions, but they're the friendly type. Even if they don't sound like it. Okay, here we are. Some more harpies. And some other guys over there. Take that! Frozen. Oh, I didn't even see that come in. I'll take that. You're frozen too. Ah, I missed the shot. Ah, oh, terrible. Oh, well, they're, they're dying to the traps. Do I even need to fight them? Near the gates and above the wreckage left in Typhon's way, Phoenix spied what looked like a working automaton hand. Yep, right down there. Yoink. Right, we got the left and right automaton hand. I guess it's pronounced automaton, but I always say it that way. Deal with it. Alright, so while we're here, 
we are gonna get the chest. We gotta activate it. So, took me a little while to figure this one out. It's, uh, the pattern is based on how many flames are lit. So that one has one. This one over here has two. So we need the block. Grab that. Place the block down. Uh, right, try that again. Hey, come on, you can do both. There we go. All right, step on it. All right, and then this one over here has four, which means the other one has three. This one right here is the one that we want. Or wait. And uh, I'm confused. I guess this one just doesn't have... I was thinking this one had the flames too, but whatever. It's the only one left, so... It's the right one. But apparently no flames. But this one's got four. There we go! New visual, Forge Master's Armor. This one right here. This armor is hammered into shape in the fires of Hephaestus' forge and burn with his hidden resolve. All right, so we need to return the hands to the automaton. Uh, so yeah, I think I might just fast travel back to the god of the forge. Let's do that. Okay, and he's in the same spot. Oh, where's that chest? That chest seems awfully close. Well, now it's missing. It's on my map. Yeah, 75. Oh, I think it's down there with him. You know what they say. You can't spend pain without pain. Forgetful automaton thing. Artist what? That's what I said. Look, I found your hands. Industrious, typhoon obsessed appreciator. You are full of surprise. Hold still while I just. Lit. A wise child convinced. A feather's weight of wit. Forge fires lit. Forge fires lit! Your forge is part of the prophecy! It must be the answer! You have to remember! The forge! The glowy blessing thingy that just came out of your hands! You are a god! Flattery! I think you're great too. No, an actual god! Back home, I told dozens of different stories about you. Myths, legends, gods, monsters, all of it. You're Hephaestus, the god of the forge. Remember? I always thought I was a cherry. Oh, maybe. This isn't working. We have to jog your memory to find your essence. I need you to think. How do we start the forge? Desolation, cloud, tunnel, air to pour cold burning furnaces. A network of canals must feed frigid waters through water wheels to the summit. Central combustion is controlled through two mechanisms in the forge core. How do you know that? Know what? Forget it. Unblock vents, start fires, spin water wheels, then something about mechanisms. Stay here and make sure those hands don't go anywhere. Instead of painting on a pot that has fruit in it, what if the painting is a pot with fruit in it? All right, our quest is done and we got many more new quests. 
And he doesn't want to talk. Alright, so he did give us a blessing. Let's check it out. A Festus' Spark. Perfectly timed dodges create a spark that inflicts 344 damage to nearby enemies. Not bad. I like it. Alright, cool. And there's this chest in here. In the belly of the cave, Phoenix found a shrine to Aphrodite. A shrine made with love. Alright, just some ingredients. If I oh. invent paper, then I could invent a wait. And who's down paper? Now you're thinking. Alrighty, so with that, we're gonna wrap things up. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.